Oh, great question. Well, it actually goes right down, besides common sense, goes right down to your little nerve cells in your brain, which release little chemicals called neurotransmitters or nerve chemicals. And they regulate not only our mood, but our appetite. And lo and behold, in the morning, uh, our nerve, those little nerve cells, those little brain cells, release a, a neurotransmitter, a nerve chemical called NPY, stands for neuropeptide Y. And NPY turns on our preferences, not so much our cravings, because you don't crave foods in the morning, turns on our preferences for carbohydrates because that's the immediate fuel. That's the fuel your body needs for the brain to function, for your, ner your nerves to fire, for the you know, muscles to, to contract and relax. And it needs to replenish that glucose store. So NPY whispers in your ear, you want pancakes, you want waffles, you want cereal, oatmeal, you want French toast. If you were in Japan, you'd want rice. If you were in Ethiopia, 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 you'd want flatbread. If you were in Costa Rica, you'd want beans and rice. All around the world, people choose carbs as their morning food, croissants in Paris. And once you eat, NP eat those carbs, if you have your bowl of cereal or you have your French toast, then NPY levels start to go down. But if you don't eat breakfast, if you skip breakfast, NPY levels don't go away. Your body needs those carbs, it wants those carbs. And so one of the theories why people that skip breakfast are much more likely to overeat later in the day and therefore have a weight problem in the long run is because by mid-afternoon, if you haven't gotten those carbs, NPY is now screaming at you to eat carbs and you're much more likely to overeat. Uh, compare. In fact, we have that in the research. People that skip breakfast eat more calories from, from when they start to eat until bedtime than someone who took five minutes to eat breakfast eats all day long. So that's the first thing. There's another neurotransmitter, though, that you need to know about, and that one comes in about midday. It's called galanin. So where you had NPY in the morning whispering to you to eat carbs, and you had your bowl of cereal, and it went down, galanin comes up midday, and now you don't want a pancake anymore. Now you're thinking a hamburger would be really good, because galanin turns on your cravings for fat. The difference, however, is that if you eat too much fat, galanin stays on, and will then be probably one of the reasons why by after dinner you're sitting on the couch cross-legged with a half gallon of ice cream. Galanin is just the opposite of NB, NPY. NPY is satisfied when you eat carbs, it goes away. Galanin says, my gosh, there's fat in the environment. I want as much as I can eat, and it stays revved up. So what you want to do at lunch is have a low fat, have some fat, but a low fat lunch, maybe a turkey sandwich with, on whole wheat bread with some mustard, maybe a spinach salad, but don't smother it in salad dressing, have a little bit of oil and vinegar dressing on it so that you satisfy the glanin without putting it into overdrive and you end up overeating later.